Hi, I'm Tom O'Callaghan, and I'm doing my video presentation on Stephen Crane's short story, A Mystery of Heroism. This tells the tale of soldiers who are pinned down in the midst of a big battle. They hear bullets and explosions constantly around them, and look off in the distance and see their comrades and higher-ups die brutally. The houses are destroyed, and the nature of the metal they are in is destroyed, too. While they are pinned down, some soldiers discuss, while others watch the terrible battle take place around them. But one soldier in particular, Fred Collins, is very thirsty and complains that he needs some water. But the closest well is in the middle of the battlefield, and it seems like a suicide mission to go get that water. All of his comrades make fun of him, saying that he can't do it. So this makes him angry and makes him want to go do it more. He goes to ask his captain if he can go do it, but like his comrades, the captain and the colonel laugh in his face. After a brief discussion, the captain says that he can go do it as long as he brings uh, his comrades' canteens with him and he gets back in a hurry. As he walks away, all of the comrades laugh at Fred Collins, but he is determined to go get this water. We listen to his thoughts as he goes to get the water. Some of the thoughts through his brain are, why is he doing this? Uh, why isn't he scared? And if he was a hero or not for going to do this. He sees many dangers ahead of him, like enemy soldiers and explosions. He finally makes it to the well, but it fills up his canteens too slowly, so he grabs a bucket, fills it up, and tries to run back to his comrades. As he's running, he sees an injured comrade on the ground, who asks him for a sip of water. At first, Fred runs off, but then comes back to give him water as he dies. Fred Collins then makes it back to where his comrades are pinned down, while they all cheer for him and thank him for the water. He passes the bucket to two of his comrades, who jokingly nudge the other's elbows while they are drinking. And this results in the bucket being dropped and all the water being spilled onto the ground. I think that one of the major themes presented in Stephen Crane's short story, A Mystery of Heroism, is heroism itself. This theme has also been very closely related to our course. The theme of heroism is shown through the soldiers, who are already shown to be heroic because they are putting their lives on the line for something that is meaningful to them. One soldier in particular that I find very heroic is Fred Collins. He has many examples of heroism, but the first one is his journey to go get the water. Although it is for a kind of selfish gain, Fred Collins goes to get water for him and his comrades even though his comrades and his higher-ups are laughing at him, because the journey to the well looks like a suicide mission. As Fred goes to get the water, he thinks in his head of whether he is a hero or not. Personally, I think Fred is a hero, and at first he did too, but he then convinced himself that he was not. Stephen Crane writes, He wondered at this, because human expression had said loudly for centuries that men should feel afraid of certain things, and that all men who did not feel this fear were phenomena, heroes. He was then a hero. He suffered that disappointment which we would all have if we discovered that we were ourselves capable of those deeds which we must admire in history and legend. This then was a hero. After all, heroes were not much. Even though going to get the water doesn't seem like much, as Stephen Crane writes, heroes are not much. And this inner monologue within himself leads us to the second theme, the theme of inner heroism, particularly in Fred Collins. I believe that Fred is also very heroic on the inside. This is because when he first wants to go get water, everyone laughs at him, saying that the well is right there, it's not far and is not dangerous. This motivates Fred to want to go get the water even more, 
to prove his comrades wrong. Not only his comrades, but also his captain joked to him to go get the water, so he wants to prove them wrong. I think that this is very heroic, because he wants to show people that he is more than they think he is. I also think that he proved them wrong very well, because when he brings the water back, they all cheer for him. In most cases, inner heroism is only shown through the person, but his inner heroism sparks others to think of him as a hero, as they cheer for him as he comes back. One final act of Fred's heroism is shown on his way back from the well. On his way back, he sees a fallen comrade, and as he comes closer to the comrade, the comrade asks him for some water. Fred initially says no, saying that he is in a hurry to get back, but he then turns around to go give the soldier some water. He flips a soldier onto his back and gives him water as he's dying. This is an extreme act of heroism because Fred could have been out of the danger much earlier, but instead he decided to give this dying soldier some water. I think that this act of heroism was motivated by Fred's other acts of heroism. By going to get the water and proving all of his comrades wrong, Fred sees himself more as a hero. And when the soldier asks for water, he knows that he cannot say no, because he is now a hero. Another major theme in this short story that is not as closely related to our class is the theme of anti-war. Within this story, there's many examples of people dying brutally, the destruction of houses, and the destruction of the nature. This is described in great detail and shows the effects of the war, not only on the soldiers, but on the places where they fight. I had just found this short story recently and decided to do my presentation on it because I found it to be very, very interesting. The first part that I found interesting was its depiction of war. The setting of this short story seems to be in a hellscape with explosions everywhere and bullets flying everywhere with dead people on the ground and houses destroyed another thing was the detailed destruction Stephen Crane did a great job at describing how the landscape looks around the soldiers with the destroyed buildings burned grass and holes from shells explosions Another thing that made me want to do this short story was how the story kept me on the edge of my seat the whole time. I really wanted to see if Fred got the water or not, and I really wanted to find out the ending. So it kept me on the edge of my seat until I got to the ending. The part where Fred has to give water to the soldier before he gets back to his comrades was very interesting to me. It really showed how much heroism Fred had even though people did not believe in him. And it was very interesting to see that Fred came back, even though he could have died by giving the soldier some water. This makes me ask the question of what I would do in this situation. I don't know if I would be able to go and get the water, but I know that people making jokes about me not being able to would feel me to go and want to do it more. But I think that I would be too scared to go out there. I also think that I would not be able to stop to give the fallen soldier some water because I would be already on the final stretch to being back with my comrades and I would not want to take the time to go and feed him water because it might mean that I would die. Finally, a part that I really liked also was the ending because during the whole story I was asking myself questions if Fred would make it or not if the water would be bad for the soldiers to drink, if his comrades would finally be accepting of his heroism. But I did not expect the ending that came. When it said that the two soldiers were nudging each other jokingly, I knew that it could not end well. And when Stephen Crane writes that the wood hits the ground and everyone is silent, I realized what happened. I was kind of mad that that was the ending, but I also thought it was very funny and was a fitting end to this story. Thank you so much for viewing my video presentation. I'm Tom Callahan, 
and I highly recommend that you all go out and read Stephen Crane's short story, A Mystery of Heroism.